Hi guys, welcome to part 5 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. It will be the part of the stairs, obviously, but mainly the part of the giant statue and completing that task. It will also be the part of trying to conceal somehow the curved aspect of the waterfalls and adding some vegetation plus the part of starting the first teamed section guys it is time for that but mostly it will be the part of a surprise mm -hmm. let's continue with something else guys i need something to uh, to add near the lake in order to um, hide somehow the curved uh, aspect of the uh, waterfalls and at least from one side I will be using the this is very tall guys this is a little more than 30 centimeters and it is pure plastic okay it is uh, some uh, a naked uh, tree, okay? And I will add some foliage to this and I will try to uh, see if I can I hide somehow the, um, the curved or dissimulate the curved section uh, that have now the uh, the waterfalls. I will start by adding some uh, brown color to this and I will start as always with the darkest color so uh, dark brown and then I will go up with some other brown color uh, hoping that um, it will be uh, good enough in some minutes for what I will need to do. So let's take a brush and let's go with the brown color up to this. Now guys, here I have some spray glue, okay? And some flockage here, okay? Let me do step by step if I can to get this like this and see if I can get these
Perfect, guys. It is finally time to start the first teamed section. And as I already told you, this 2024 season will be centered on Ukraine or Ukraine. So some sort of different reality uh, compared to what you know. What if instead went this way? What if it is like that in reality and not what we are supposed to know? So I will bring you to some part of my dark brain. Uh, to be honest, there is little parts that are not dark right now, but this one will be a soft section. It will not as punching as uh, disturbing as some of the other sections. And uh, I don't think you will get uh, what it is about until the last day, not the last day before uh, going online with my Christmas Village final video, but before completing this first attempt at section, uh, only at that time I will place the figurines that will give the idea of my first what if. For me it is like that, not like what you know and what we know. I will not go far away, not too much. So this will be 30 centimeters by 18 centimeters. This is my standard 9 millimeters thick extruded styrofoam panel. I cut simply this piece. Then I will use, for the first time ever, some aluminum. It is cheap. Uh, it is easily cut with uh, some standard tools and here I have uh, some square head of 8 by 8 millimeters so a little less than the thickness of this one I have uh, 4 of them and then some other uh, very thin those are just uh, uh, five millimeters by two millimeters I think I should remember correctly two millimeters and the length here is 18 centimeters and those one are 16 centimeters uh, I will just tell you now last season I've 3d printed uh, a lot of uh, stages this time I will build a stage a strange stage yes but this will be a stage and obviously I will need to add some strange things but I don't think you will be uh, confused uh, in some way and for the first time in this season I will use one of these new uh, motor reductors. So this is some electric motor that reduce the speed using those little uh, cogs there, those little mechanisms that there and I will use these in this stage here to create a movement, obviously at some point a strange movement for something not a strange but vintage okay guys, vintage and I will keep the secret but you will see me using these as small and it is the smallest I have found up until now I don't think you can find a smaller motor reductors uh, motor, a motor reductor is something that you have seen me using already two seasons ago with my uh, three ring circus where I used a, 
electric motor for a microwave oven to make the three ring circuit turn with just between five and six run per minute, turn per minute. This one is the smallest one and it will go between three and 12 run per minute, round per minute. But I will get to this in some uh, weeks, maybe next, no, I don't think so. And the connectors are here, one and one, two. But let me do something with this stage. Uh, these are eight by eight. So I will place them, I think, there. Good, so these will be uh, the supports for the roof and uh, something else and obviously the support also for the little motor reductor there. But I will end this because I will not complete these. I just wanted to start this uh, somehow, but I need to do the floor. I need to do the floor.
Good guys, this is the first step of this stage that is the main component, component of the first timid section. Voila, I still need to elevate this to make some stairs, to make the roof, to, make, to add some horizontal sustain there, to add the background. <laughs> and to add many other things, then to add the motor and finally the figurines that will populate and that will bring a meaning to this what if first section.
guys something terrible will happen in the next minutes here I have some Valeo primer why? because generally I use this primer here uh, to prime obviously all my figurines and all my buildings before painting with my standard brushes and this primer here can be applied with brushes yes but ideally it is better to use an airbrush and I generally use this color here that is a gray a light gray almost white gray but for once I decided to use this primer here it is always from Valeo but it is from an old series but it is black black primer generally black primer is used as a priming layer for war armor and uh, tabletop game figurines I never use black because I like to paint with my brushes on something that is almost white as a sheet of paper as we are used to do so I went for the first time with this black but where? Papam. You have seen me assembling after 3D printing, after I modeled it, the giant statue. Yes, I have applied this primer here with the airbrush to the giant statue that will be the main focus of platform that you have seen me building the result guys is this one told you it was an uncommon color told you it was never heard before <laughs> one of my villages let me approach the camera a little more this is the result of these giant Let's call it human, angel, devil, I don't know. And I have already seen that it is sorry to carry a dead girl. That's why I told you it was a punch in the stomach, this statue here. A fighting angel with this word. A fighting angel that can be also an evil angel or evil, pure evil, but with an angelic face that is carrying clearly a body, but it's a young girl body. Told you, Ukraine out of time, and even this statue is out of time, guys. Uh, Will I limit myself there? Yes. I will not limit myself here. I decided to go even further. Uh, this is a acrylic poly polyurethane color. So plastic, liquid, more dense than acrylic colors. I will finish this and you know you will think no it will no guys I hope not this thing here guys sorry I have the price here I don't want to show the price but it's less than 10 euros okay Cera Plata <laughs> it is from a 
uh, La Pajarita from a Spanish company, but Cera Plata is nothing more than silver wax, metallic silver wax. And guys, it's not a color, it's pure metallic wax and it smells like wax okay so it is some wax that is used with <clears throat> with furniture to have a final touch on furniture and to have a silver color but also shiny silver color I <coughs> sorry guys uh, i shouldn't have uh, scented this <laughs> because it's wax anyway I will use this as a dry brush on the statue guys uh, I don't know the result uh, because I have just one piece of these Good guys, I think <clears throat> I will stop here. Uh, it will not dry completely because this is a wax, but maybe a little more than now. And uh, you have seen that I can always remove some of the excess of the wax with some uh, Q-tip, cotton tips. Okay, and if you want to see closer, this is the effect. Okay, the black visible and the details highlighted by the metallic silver wax. This is strange, I know, this is a nerd off, but I hope this will bring the effect I want to the final result. Ba -bam. New painting technique, guys. What I have here, here I have the column, the pedestal, on top of which the um, giant statue will be placed okay and i want this to be some strange color too let me show you these it is almost ruined i try to make some uh, scratches here and there while modeling these and i want this to be marble guys marble strange marble color and obviously the original is this white here that is the plastic once uh, took out of the printer and I primed this on the main surfaces with the uh, gray primer the one you have already seen me using many times sorry for the noise but I will be using for this technique my airbrush at a very low PSI or bar, less than 20 PSI, that is the pressure that is uh, uh, of the flow that comes out from the compressor that is down below, 
and so uh, less than 20 psi or less than 1.3 1.3 or around 1.3 bar okay technical terms as always but if you use a, a nab brush you know what i'm talking about uh, you will be seeing me using the airbrush maybe for the first time simply because this technique uh, means uh, using this low uh, pressure so I I'm not making a cloud of uh, um, paint that could damage the camera up there uh, because once I've <laughs> Uh, wh while I'm priming all these, I use much more elevated PSI that cause some uh, dust, some uh, uh, dust of uh, painting. And uh, for this reason, it will take a long time because each layer will be will need to I will need to wait for the layer to dry out. Uh, don't worry, I will not show you the entire process and I will use three main colors. The base, other than the primer, will be some uh, metallic iridescent silver. Then I will be using some uh, blue, some light blue, not very light, but some blue. And then finish in touch with some white acrylic color. All the those are acrylic colors, on, I know, from different brands. Uh, and I will be using uh, an airbrush improver to uh, avoid clogging the airbrush. But the main, the main useful tool will be this baby wipe. I've, uh, the important thing is that they need to be dried out. So I made a bunch of them during the last day and I've dried them outside <laughs> with the heat that we have in this moment in Italy it took no more than half an hour <laughs> to maybe less to dry out the baby wipes these are common baby wipes that uh, are generally wet uh, but uh, you can find them at any store and for creating the veins of the marble I will need to stretch out the the wipe a little why I've uh, um, um, out those, uh, um, those wipes because otherwise if they are too wet they can um, produce a mess around the object, around the column in this case, and not allowing me uh, to have a clean marble veins. So I will need to repaint each time everything <laughs> and on and on and on. So I will create some pattern and I will be using it as a stencil for the column. I will check if I get what I need. Yes. So the main technique is to let the paint go through the holes that I'm creating with this thing. and then uh, where I have more tissue the painting will not go through and will remain on the on the tissue on this on this wipe here on this baby wipe here okay so each time i will get different type of veins and uh, let's say this is good yes let's say this is good okay and it needs to be tight but not that much okay so <coughs> let's see what i can get obviously i will need to fit to do this process one 
two, three, four, five times, okay, each time. Uh, but I start and I will put out this little cutting mat because I will make a mess. I have a paper here and I will start without the baby wipe with the um, with the iridescent silver as my base coat uh, as a marble base coat. Now this is dried yes I will remove this because this technique need me to grab it firmly. Here I have the mix of blue and airflow improver. Let's do like this. Then baby wipe. like that tight but not too tight then I will go like this hope you can see yes good and I wait to dry out but I will remove the now like this so some stains some veins of uh, uh, blue if you aren't satisfied you can add uh, another another round of it the white will be the last the lighter color and in this case it is white will be the last one so white and and the marble and the marble is there guys with the three layers of color i will let you see and the veins or ma of marble are there uh, with the three layers done gray then the primer then the silver metallic silver iridescent then blue and then uh, white and let me do the same thing for all the uh, all the sides then I will update you on uh, this this is the final result uh, I added uh, as last layer uh, some uh, extra gloss there like this one but no I've not used the, the brush because this product here to clog the uh, brushes but I went with some standard uh, brush. Uh, my hands are mats, but I can show you closely the result, okay? And with all the veins from the marble all around. And I didn't want to use too much blue, but pale blue like this one, okay? And this is something I've, I needed to, to do in order to get the statue shining. And uh, the gloss obviously will uh, 
cure will dry a little more during the uh, next hours but this is the marble column now 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 five days ago I had an impromptu and extemporaneous but very very profitable exchange of comments with one of the viewers of this channel obviously and today I'm here to thank that viewer. More precisely, I'm here to thank Rebecca for her comments. <laughs> Let me try to explain. Uh, she started by saying, look, I will see a solitary house near the waterfall, near the mountain, near the lake, and that house need to be inhabited by a wise woman, by a nord wise woman. Uh, I will let you uh, <laughs> search for the entire comments. And uh, I immediately thought, oops, she is right. She's more than right. Why haven't I thought about it by myself? during the off-season or when I was planning this mountain, this lake, simply because, as I told you many times, I'm not perfect, I'm simply human. And staring 24 hours a day to my project doesn't mean I will get everything immediately and get everything is good for my Christmas village. But that comment was extremely point and extremely wise as the wise woman that would inhabit that house and brilliant and everything. And okay, I came home from work and I immediately started uh, working on my 3D software and I came uh, up with this little house here guys this one okay and I posted a picture of this and uh, replied to her comment to Rebecca comments look I got this um, she was very kind she didn't tell the exact words but I understood, and this idea of mine here that I sketched and 3D modeled in two hours, two hours and a half, was completely crushed by Rebecca. In a good meaning, Rebecca, I, I, I have nothing against you. I'm here to thank you. And I understood and why because this was not perfect and maybe I will never put on in my village. And uh, she said, oh yeah, a good start. <laughs> but those words were, mm, no, 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 mm, mm, forget about it. Why not a more not to standard house, but completely stone? with uh, something more, with uh, uh, around the corner, around the tower, something like that. And, uh, okay, she was right, <laughs> okay. Uh, I modeled this too quickly, okay. So, I worked on something for uh, a couple more hours that night and the sketch I sketched something that is uh, this little beast here that it is not the version I posted but it is the version I worked on with my pencils and etc as I always do with an arcade three uh, parts a roof with a circular mini tower 
here and uh, some arcade roof as I told you some better windows but because uh, she also told me you know they are not too refined that those windows yes understood so I went with some more detailed uh, windows okay and the bay is a pure stone and also here but with also some wood elements as sustaining everything simply because uh, you know that I've already many many buildings ready to be shown but they are a secret for, for now and uh, I couldn't um, model something that uh, would not be in harmony with that uh, th with those buildings more than than 15 buildings from the left side that I haven't spoke about until now and I will not so I told myself why not trying to model something that can go uh, with those uh, buildings that uh, I already made and uh, and so I came with this uh, design here so stone it is in isometric view so I took the main uh, circular tower with roof with some roof tiles also uh, and another part of a bow window there with bow windows a pure Victorian styles protruding from the house and and the base squared almost a squared and then supporting getting up and luckily for me she approved that this design so I went on all the night it took me from midnight I think up until 7 a.m to model this obviously first I mm, I've scanned this with my on my PC and I refined it a little more uh, to be more comprehensible more um, squared design simply because when I sketch something I am not as precise as using my tablet so I've imported this and then with my tablet that allows me to go with straight lines, with arced lines, etc. This is the final uh, model I've presented to her. Yes, maybe I should have continued with the uh, with the with the roof in some ways. Okay, but anyway, this is what I presented to her, and she approved it. Yeah. So, uh, but the wise old woman is still missing I'm not even there and I've not even started thinking on how to model that wise old woman and uh, then then after a sleepless night uh, I decided to cut in different parts because this would have been impossible to 3D print in just one piece, too complex model, too long, and I had to split these in a base, a first level, then the roof, I had to split it in one piece, another piece, and, and the third piece is the back, that in this view is not possible to let you see, with some stone steps, and the base here is pure stone enough uh, I still need to 3d print some uh, two or three more elements as the door and the up of the door but guys here I have the base guys and it is as she asked pure stone base it is not those are not bricks but stones of different sizes and the supports here are wood obviously more refined windows that have an inside and an outside the little steps there to get inside 
three little steps here we have the, um, the, the door here then some wooden floor and then you can imagine that here you will have something around so here is the first floor guys and the first floor is uh, a minimum with the stones here the base is stone and also some other parts but uh, it is mainly in wood uh, because uh, something is to make a base of stone at that age then the rest of the house would have been too heavy to make it a pure stone but a bow window there a bow window there another bow window here and a couple more bow window here protruding. And let me put first floor on top of the base. And it is starting from this point of view here to look not precise because it is impossible to sketch something and then model and have the precise uh result the final result for example here my idea was to have some more hardcap version and then here i have mm, i have a smaller version okay not that arcad version okay here on top of these windows here but i've tried to go as precise as I could with what I had sketched. Uh, obviously, the stones here, the entry, the windows, etc. Uh, I haven't modeled some stairs, sorry, I hadn't had time to model, but these will not be seen from the inside, only from the outside. Maybe I will add some more. Uh, Transparent plastic as windows. Then came the time for the roof. Okay, this is one part of the roof. And you can see that I've been more precise in modeling with this part here. Oh, hope you can see this part here that is arced there with this part here. Okay, and the arched roof there, and this will go obviously in the part like that. And I made the connect the connectors, etc., in order to let me easily assemble these that will be glued together. Uh, from now on, I cannot let you see from the side, but you will see it. Uh, because I needed to do a lot of work, but you will see it assembled at some point during the final recap. Then this is this part here, the part that is outside here, lateral, another bow window with here. And this one will be not precisely cut because I have grooves that I will need to manage where they are. You have a point of contacts and then the big part that has been my mistake, uh, I had to print these three times because um, this little part here, up until they reach there, this point here, it is printed solitary with no connection to the rest of the, of the perimeter. So these, wasn't sustained enough and break the printing process two times before I managed to get enough supports. But this is some technical issues. And this one will go like that. I will need to work on a way to get all the seams together correctly. Okay, almost there, and you can see that the profile is there from this point of view here. 
uh, you couldn't see that chimney because this is the roof guys this is the roof this is this roof here okay and this roof here is hiding like that and in fact you have this roof here that is rounded okay guys I hope you can see I don't know I will do a mess okay maybe you are seeing that it is rounded so this part is almost rounded it is hexagonal part one two three four five six seven no eight part one two three four five six seven I'm starting from this point one two three five six seven eight <clears throat> eight parts almost rounded and then the arcade ways and the two stories there the two and then also here inside the columns and this is the solitary house guys i hope to let you see it better during the final recap when it will be more visible so two chimneys a mini tower for i don't know I, yes i know for some magic maybe from the old wise woman and the laboratory the i don't know and then i think this from now on will be rebecca's house final recap of part of five of the 2024 series and obviously i need to start from the new stairs the platform call it whatever you want but it has come to an end finally epia guys painted okay guys and that is the statue guys i placed the statue on top of the pillar you have seen me doing everything concerning this statue and i told you guys this statue would have been a punch in the stomach okay these angel these evil angel these i don't know what but with the uh, angelic face just taking off or just landing and that is why i choose these pose there because i like most of all some dynamic poses that is that has in his hands the body of a young girl of a young woman and it is so sorry about it that he can't even look someone else but instead it is sorry it's almost crying and this is the statue guys you have uh, i don't think it is a bad solution to just go with the black primer and then the mm, silver metallic wax that has dried guys now perfectly and it doesn't stain anymore uh, this is the first um, preview of what my mind have produced for this uh, 2024 season and the gargoyles guys same thing as uh, and the statue black and then uh, just uh, the silver wax and the third one and the fourth one so the colors guys i went crazy with some with many colors after the prime i went with some terracotta with everything on everything except the central circle terracotta then some spray of yellow that you can see here and i wanted to simulate some floor tiles some maiolica tiles some real reflective floor tiles 
so I used some iridescent, almost a transparent acrylic colors and you can see under it and it is still drying it takes so long to dry this paint there uh, you can see underneath the layer here some of the terracotta color uh, layered before here you see the terracotta and then the yellow and I used some blue for the steps some bluish green uh, for the um, buildings one two and three and some dragon green for the central circle every color I've used there is iridescent and has a shiny effect and that's what I wanted for the tiles for the floor tiles there and you can see also the effect there I wanted is the different uh, tiles have different colors as if they were made with different colors even there on the on the uh, palace ballroom plaza let's call it like this you have different colors for the tiles the steps no uh, these steps here have the color there uh, also there and those one are blue but one simple color underneath the terracotta and then here terracotta everyone else terracotta for the outside i went with the terracotta and then some uh, orange uh, iridescent orange that has that is a shining also this one it is a shining as a wall would have been an important wall uh, it, it still needed to dry but i assure you that it is iridescent uh, and then and then for the railings i simply went with the primer that it was gray and on top of which i used the technique of uh, very uh, tiny very uh, well defined uh, net metallic net and then a very hard brush i placed some black paint on the on the net on the on the net then on the metallic net then i brushed I brushed on the net and these sprayed the little dots there and it is like having some marble so I wanted the different uh, colors for the railings and that is the result uh, I haven't white anywhere except the pedestal the column for the statue and uh, I used the, some epoxy glue my uh, double, um, two components epoxy glue five minutes epoxy glue uh, very small amount and it it's there and the statue it's not glued guys i can remove it whenever i want i had to do such a big um, base pedestal column because the statue is very heavy and it wouldn't have supported the weight and I wanted circular 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 and the squared for the for the for the statue everything is round per, almost perfect because you know that the circle is the perfect form but they are not you have uh, some corner you have some sadness you have some death I know bringing that to a Christmas village is not but guys I love that statue I love that statue what if the reality is this with this Ukraine this with this Ukraine this is the reality this is the statue for it I still miss the two buildings there uh, much probably I will add on one will be Nora's Christmas boutique but the other one there I still don't know here I will have some park benches some other things I don't want anything to get and 
you can see the palace ballroom from downside and you can read behind the palace ballroom okay so it isn't either but under the wings and guys i modeled this that the wings are not touching any figurines okay uh, and then there maybe one of the buildings I will get on October I think I I still don't know uh, those two buildings will be me the, the two buildings will be missing uh, until October mid or late October I think but imagine two buildings there and the park benches I will add the park benches I also made uh, the holes the for the wires that I will hide with some painting I don't know maybe this is not good color but I love it guys blue green blue green blue the palace ballroom I wanted the something and the support there something to elevate it seems copper but it is not copper it is iridescent orange it's not copper it's not uh, steampunk guys uh, and uh, marble there I don't think it is a bad result yes always improvable but not that bad once again guys I don't know maybe you can suggest is it an angel is it a devil is it a, a devil with some idea of redemption but it has an angelic face guys and the girl the young woman I'm so sorry for her let's get to the left guys the tree if you look at the waterfall from the distance uh, it dissimulate the curved effect of the waterfall here it is almost correct and there the tree it is a solution and uh, making the tree obviously still needs to dry out and then I will paint with some white because it needs to be icy but in this case uh, the main focus will be on the tree and it 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 hide somehow the curve I cannot prevent the, this curved line here because if I place a tree there I will hide the sword I don't want to hide the sword and not even the stalactite there and from this side too those are the, oh, the two trees uh, hide somehow there obviously I need to paint them because I don't like <laughs> pure uh, green uh, cypress those are two cypress I got the one and then I also added a tree up there guys why not uh, oh maybe you have noticed that I've uh, improved the somehow the spilling of the uh, water there uh, you have more spikes now there 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 I like it much more like that with uh, the spikes uh, growing with the water splashing and even from the side you have more spikes I uh, also added some more soap here on this edge here there etc okay guys and also here it is a formation of a stalactite there so uh, the main lake is almost done uh, I will continue next week the statue will go back where it needs to go where it needs to be sorry and then I will do the river uh, guys let me do this because -da, <laughs> that is the stage guys the starting of the stage the starting point of the uh, first uh, timid section uh, wood obviously it would be wood and you have seen that it's not that hard to use some um, resin and to simulate the soldering there then I will add some metallic uh, aluminum metallic 
some acrylic color aluminum based that will cover the the resin there i will stabilize this and uh, why this huge because there are one two three four five figurines and some props to be placed on this stage one two yes three four five yes five figurines will be placed on this stage and the first time i mix aluminum with styrofoam but it can work obviously i need also some uh, um, supports back there to have the stability of this nothing in front then the motor will be there but it is the starting point i will continue the next uh, season the next week now guys i redo this because tada guys the surprise but as these need to be uh, near the lake let me place it a little more decently okay let me add it near the lake as requested by Rebecca and near the lake it will not be in this position there but at least sorry guys for the camera but at least I can show you the re it is not the final result because I still miss uh, the door there but this is Rebecca's house guys the solitary home for the old wise woman to be placed near the lake uh, at some point maybe here I will add also some docks but from the side guys this is the other part the other side uh, so rounded some sort of um, tower there of rounded the tower then bow windows two levels of bow windows there also from here another bow window and the here from the back there are no bow window but from the other side there are two more bow windows from the top uh, the two chimneys the main chimney and the second one and then the top roof of the uh, tower and there uh, i don't think it's far from what requested rebecca rebecca sorry once again it is very late but it's up to her to tell me if it suits what she had in mind when she told me please add uh, or hear me uh, i see mm, a solitary house near the lake uh, i ask her there down there or up there uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter she <laughs> replied but just remember that if you place the house there you have to get uh, the house a mean of accessing it so people need to get the wise woman would need to access so let's say the uh, the rebecca's house will be on ground level maybe a little uh, a little for a little more um, sorry rephrase maybe some more centimeters on top of the main lake but i don't know yet and i still need to add uh, somewhere the plug for uh, the lights for the led lights inside and i will place it on the left because it is somehow similar not exactly the same as all the other buildings that will populate the left side of the layout guys but once again let's have a look at the main entrance rebecca's house uh, five days of of work uh, in the rush but oh yes here wood rebecca but the chimney 
are stone chimney okay i haven't all the walls in pure wood in pure stone base than some parts of the first level because uh, i needed some wood to place those kind of uh, windows there and the bow window uh, made but with some stones are not that easy to build in real life uh, this is uh, Rebecca's house guys let me end this let me do the outro <laughs> no Mac don't worry he is a good guy I know him believe me first time ever that during part 5 I already have something completely done never heard before maybe you ate it guys colors especially the statue it is a very uh, very crude statue uh, bringing that and sorrowness into a christmas village never heard before that too but now we have an idea of what i want for this 2024 christmas village that is an uchronia so what if those are the standards in this timeline Okay, guys, uh, but don't worry, the first team at the section will not be <laughs> at this level. It will be somehow much more fun, uh, I think, <laughs> not disturbing, that I know, that I know. Uh, the Rebecca's house, guys. I loved the comments, I loved that interaction. But I still don't know if it is good enough for Rebecca, sorry. No, if uh, it suits what she had in mind. I hope so, but Rebecca, you know, the comments under, uh, down below, open for you and for everyone else. Just comment. <laughs> I will not complete it by part six. Uh, maybe the wise woman, the old wise woman, yes, but certainly not the rest. I need to go ahead with the, uh, with the lake, uh, with the uh, river, etc. I want to move the mountain where uh, she belongs, where it belongs, especially because I need to implement some other things from left and right. No, from right, from left. It will remain a secret for now. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my English, my bad English, and uh, see you for part six, but only if you really want. Bye guys!